Meghan felt sad that Duchess Catherine had the dignity she dreamed of but never had. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Princess Diana News YouTube channel. A royal source just claimed that Prince William's wife has a dignity that Harry's evil wife never had. Catherine, Princess of Wales, was a reserved, considerate, considerate, gentle and elegant woman who exuded elegance. Anyone can be cool that IT takes practice, but you can master it. Jacqueline Kennedy is the epitome of class, and most members of the royal family have more than enough of that. Queen Elizabeth II certainly had class and so did Pippa Middleton. Yes, she's not a queen, but she's on a high level. Each of these women has truly learned to be a class figure both at school and at home, and Prince William is, of course, a great man. Well, as for Catherine, she is very sincere and I think that a woman is not capable of deception. Katerina is very beautiful and her beautiful soul shines in every way. He is busy but never really rushed. And I would say one good word to describe Catherine would be calm, attending private schools, Catherine was very busy. He is really talented in many fields like sports, music, art and very intelligent. The University of Edinburgh invited him to study there and it is the best university in Scotland. She could be a model if she wanted to and live a very stylish life in cities around the world. But he didn't do it, Catherine decided that love is the most important thing in her life. And some people actually criticized Catherine for having Prince William as her boyfriend and then living with him for so long. But many people do it today. I'm afraid this is the modern way. Usually, people are together for a long time, William and Catherine certainly did. And we know that William wanted to make sure that this marriage worked and that they never got divorced. I even heard that the late Queen took William aside and told him that his marriage should only be successful for the sake of the monarchy. So Prince William took his time. He and Catherine had been together for so long that he wanted to be sure what would happen if he married her. So she understands what it means to be a working member of the royal family. She had to learn all the rules they had to follow and she also realized that men served in the military. Therefore, Catherine decided that she really loved William and wanted to be a contributing member of the royal family, and she wanted to support him and his family. Although she would have been happy to stay at home and raise his children with him in a village somewhere rather than become the future queen, she accepted the role. Chapter 1 Think Camilla is of the same bloodline as Princess Catherine and Princess Grace. You see, what all these women have in common is that they didn't marry into royalty because they wanted to be royalty. They just fell in love with these people who became kings or future kings. So they stepped forward and took on the tasks assigned to them and their husbands. And, in my opinion, this is something to be admired. None of them got married because they wanted to be famous, become rich, because this luxury actually comes at a high price. Of course, Meghan Markle couldn't accept that. It was too much work for her. She just wants all the luxuries and none of the responsibilities. It can be said that Princess Catherine's life is really happy, she has such attractive qualities and such self-discipline. Even when she was in college, she would jog early in the morning to stay fit. However, she is an early riser and really does her homework when it comes to all the charities and sponsorships she supports. She also takes care of her mother and wants the best for her children. What I love about her is that she doesn't have a nanny, she has no one to cook for the family, who now live in a four-room house. Sometimes they also cook and clean. They have to drive themselves most of the time and go to school by themselves. They currently own three houses, for if you include a cottage in Scotland. So that's the beauty of this work. Catherine uses her position to truly focus on others. She worked tirelessly to make Britain a good place for people around the world. Chapter Catherine and William do their best to build goodwill, but Harry, harboring resentment and jealousy, steps on their toes and tries to destroy the institution he once seemed so happy to serve. 
But let's get back to beautiful Catherine that I don't know how she found the energy. She is busy and focused. I imagine she will work until her last breath. She won't be able to go on a sunny vacation to Italy because going to Italy means something big. Instead, Princess Catherine enjoyed visiting the Isles of Scilly, Balmoral and Anmer Hall. Chapter She really cares about her children. The truth is, her children can't just choose the job they want. I mean, George might be a pilot, but he's not going to be an astronaut. Being a royal ruler has many limitations, but in the end, love conquers all. This was the one thing that Catherine, Princess of Wales, had more than enough. Like. She loves her husband very much. She loves her children very much, her family, I mean the Middletons and the Royal Windsors. She loved her country, her job and her responsibilities very much. This woman knows how to love. And these are just some of the things that Catherine has that makes her very different from Meghan Markle. Basically, it's about a lot of honesty and a lot of lies. Kindness against extreme cruelty. Happiness versus sadness, content versus angry, pure versus chaotic, I think you get the picture. Catherine couldn't be more different from Meghan Markle and one of the reasons William and Catherine were successful is because they knew each other so well. Also, William gave Catherine plenty of time to learn what it meant to be a king. Meghan believed that she would break up the royal family and then take responsibility for everything. Meghan is an expert at skimming and only has a very superficial understanding of a particular subject. And then he thinks he understands everything. But the whole world sees Catherine as she is. Beautiful, charming and very peaceful. A transparent and sovereign queen. He was born for this. And by the way, Catherine has a title once held by her mother-in-law, Diana, Princess of Wales. I'm sure Meghan can't stand the fact that Meghan is a nothing princess. Ekaterina had it all. But I can't say the same for these two guys who live in Montecito. I love that William and Catherine took the time to get to know each other and truly fall in love with each other. I'm glad they didn't rush into marriage because that's why their marriage is so strong. Many of us are in a hurry to get married. I made this mistake and guess what happened? Mine ended in disaster. But anyway, William and Catherine were much smarter than I was at the time. So I firmly believe that this marriage will stand the test of time. You see, Princess Catherine has everything Meghan could want. And Meghan will never be her. Many people watched Meghan fail over and over again. She allowed herself to get caught up in the joke. Meghan basically reduced herself to a note at this point. I mean, she's sad. He has narcissistic personality disorder. And he never accepts real help. Because this is exactly the problem with narcissists they never think they need help. Megan desperately wants to be popular and popular, but she is not. He will never be like that. Most people want to avoid him. There are very few people out there who actually like Megan, and even fewer who respect her. And I don't think I should talk about her marriage, but her husband is crazy. And no one has seen their children, so their existence, sorry, is very doubtful. And Megan has a reputation for being a completely unpleasant person. Look, you can't buy class, and Megan doesn't understand that. It warms my heart to see some of the finest members of the royal family being admired for who they are. I'm tired of hearing the constant lies of Megan, Harry, and Montecito. They are such ugly, ugly people, and it's really a shame how many people listen to them. And back to the subject of class, most of the royals I see in Britain and Europe are very elegant. You can see it, but sometimes class is just innate or nurtured by someone regardless of class. This is the truth, you don't have to be rich or royal to have class. I mean look at Grace Kelly, this woman had such taste before she was famous. When I think of my family, I can think of some great examples. For example, my grandma, oh, she came from a very humble background, but this woman just knows how to be elegant. The way she spoke, the way she dressed, the way she cared about others. He was the one who told me about this course. 
she is very polite, kind and gentle. I mean, some people are just born with it. I met the people I traveled with who were thoughtful and friendly people who, to me, also epitomized class. What do you think of Meghan Markle? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and we can talk about her and the royal family too. If you find my video helpful, don't forget to like and share it with your friends and family in need. Please subscribe to the Princess Diana News YouTube channel to see more videos from our team. Now, thank you very much for your attention, and bye, I'll see you back in the next video.